everyone, my name is Katarina from uh, Garden Design Tools and today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, adding plants inside Lumion and the type of plants you can, um, I suggest you uh, add. Uh, especially considering Lumion you can do amazing animations of your projects. I will not add uh, plants like grasses if you're thinking about doing an animation. If you just steal images and uh, you have grasses in 3D warehouse that are really good quality ones, um, add to your project if you want, but uh, um, add to your um, Lumion imported library. But um, a good example of the, uh, uh, the type of plant you can add without a problem uh, cons the, in having in consideration the wind in an animation is for example this agave here. Okay, so in, uh, in Lumion you have the imports and you can create in an import library you can create different collections. This is the collections I've created, but you can personalize these collections, add more, etc. So, you have complements, you have furniture, you have plants, and you have projects. This is the main uh, house and uh, mm, site that I work in SketchUp and I import inside Lumion. So, but the agave, for example, it's, um, it's a, a great example of a, a plant that you can uh, you can add to your imported library because it's a, it's a very uh, static kind of plant even with a lot of wind it will not move so you don't have a problem when you're doing an animation and the plant doesn't move because as you can see here with the grasses okay you can see even in uh, in uh, in build mode that I am now inside Lumion you can see that they move with the wind okay but agave, for example, is not a big problem um, having agave as a, and it's a, it's um, I always go to the 3D warehouse because it's a, a very important source to complement the Lumion library. They keep adding plants and they had uh, aloe veras this time as well, I've discovered. So um, I'm really happy about it, but uh, there's still some species as a garden designer or a landscape designer you sometimes want specific plants. Okay, they add this one as well. Um, and I wanted to show you, uh, I think they had another one. I keep discovering them, but they are not for any specific order. So, um, well, they are alphabetically, but uh, alphabetically English a, a common name. So I really would love to have in Latin, to be honest. It will be amazing. Um, I think for everyone, you know. So this is, uh, let's see, this is a new one as well. Anyway, I think uh, oh yeah, after all was just this one. Yeah, I thought they had another one, but no. But it's uh, as a garden designer, so sometimes you want specific plants. And um, definitely, 3D Warehouse is a, a brilliant way to complement, okay, your, your library. And uh, when you import a new model, um, you have, uh, you go to your import model and it gives you an option to create, um, to create, um, let me just, go here. I have this one already, but I just wanted to show you. You see, I have this one. That's why it appears red. I need to give it a new name. But as you can see here, you have complements, furniture, plants, projects. You create a new category folder. I don't know if they have a limit of folders, but so far nothing. And you can even import it with edges or without. The edges, the, the black lines you see in your SketchUp model, I don't import with edges just if you want for some specific reason okay another thing it's uh, pretty cool in the, inside the models for example if you want um, I have this is from a, a Gloucester piece of furniture from the 3d warehouse um, and uh, as a furniture pieces uh, 3d warehouse is amazing you have a lot of brands already with official uh, models from their furnitures but you can add variations if you want for example to show the client two or three other options of loungers of the same lounger with different textiles for example or you know whatever you know it's just you can add variations to this and quickly select them between them when you're doing your renderings so I just wanted to share this really quick today 
I hope you guys are preparing yourself for the holidays, but more importantly, just um, start learning something, start improving your, I think is really important, especially considering the new year, you always have these new resolutions, and it's really important to maybe, you know, sh um, invest in yourself and in your business, if you're garden designer or landscape architect, and start learning something new, start improving your renderings or whatever the you think you need improving really it's there is amazing new technologies of, and uh, there's amazing places to learn new tips and tricks and how to improve your own communication with your client that's really important to sell your projects mm -hmm. uh, so thank you guys and um, I'm just I'm gonna add don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel okay where I post all these um, videos and uh, yeah the course the update is still not live but soon and um and the blog post that you know i always compliment a little bit together with the videos okay see you guys see you next time